It's 2020, and thankfully decentralized exchanges have come a long way since the Wild West days of Ether Delta. <laughs> and it's pretty easy to swap between assets native to the same chain. But let's say you have Bitcoin. Thank you. And you want to swap it for Ethereum. Hmm. But without going through a centralized exchange. Well, that is a whole other story, because now we're into the weird and wonderful world of atomic swaps. The greatest of all discoveries, atomic energy. In other words, cross-chain swaps, peer-to-peer, -peer, no intermediary. And for many, this is one of the most important components of meaningful mass adoption, removing the friction of transacting between parties on different chains. And that brings us neatly to Jelly Swap, who are doing exactly that, allowing users to trade between chains. Oh, and they just received a grant to add Harmony as a supported chain on the platform. Tasty. Mm. The idea of atomic swaps is nothing new, and a bright young developer by the name of Daniel Larimer, I wonder what happened to him, first described a trustless exchange protocol called P2P Trade X back in 2012. And there were well-publicized swaps between Litecoin and Bitcoin and Litecoin and Decred in 2017. But it's only now that we're beginning to see strong demand for robust protocols to exist to handle the demands of developers looking for alternatives to Ethereum. But let's take a step back now and look at the current state of the most popular DEXs. Firstly, Uniswap, which can only trade pairs against ETH. One inch exchange, same as Uniswap. Bancor, swaps only on Ethereum and between ERC20 tokens. Curve, only trades between stable coins on Ethereum. You get the picture. Heck, even Vitalik called it out earlier this year. He said, we should put resources towards a proper, trustless, serverless, maximally Uniswap-like UX, ETH to BTC decentralized exchange. It's embarrassing that we still can't easily move between the two largest crypto ecosystems trustlessly. And you should know by now that Vitalik, well, he don't embarrass easily. H16 binary. Bitcoin blockchain. So thankfully, we can spare Big V more red cheeks thanks to a young team from Bulgaria, of all places. You're in Bulgaria. So let's hear from the founder himself, Tito Titov. We have created JellySwap because we enjoy solving some of the hardest problems and we want to provide simplified and UX-friendly applications for the end users. JellySwap is a cross-chain atomic swap protocol where you can swap one token for another in a completely decentralized and trustless manner. This is the problem that we solve, to connect the different blockchains like ONE and ETH, BTC and ETH and vice versa. And with our app, you can go between uh, these assets in one simple click. Now, JellySwap is blockchain agnostic. Their goal is simply to build a bridge between chains and facilitate value exchange, and to do it in a really elegant, fun way. Now, UX has come on a long way the last couple of years, and JellySwap is just fun to look at and nice to use with big, chunky buttons and a helpful walkthrough when you first come onto the platform. It's called JellySwap. The atomic swap process itself works as a peer-to-peer -peer exchange between blockchains straight through personal crypto wallets like Ledger, Metamask, Fortmatic, or Brain Wallet. But the real magic happens underneath. And if we take a peek behind the curtains of this operation, we're going to come across something called the HTLC, the Hashed Time Lock Contract. The most important function of an atomic swap protocol is to ensure none of the involved parties can cheat the system, because nobody likes a cheat. And the hash lock is what prevents funds from being spent unless a piece of data is revealed, and the time lock is a function that ensures the contract can only be executed within a predefined time frame. JellySwap is not just an application, but it is a whole protocol. It has different parts. For example, we have a web-based UI, that is used by the end users. We have HTLC contracts on all of our blockchains that we are supporting. At the moment, these are Harmony, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Eternity, 
and we are working on Avalanche as well. And basically all the things that I mentioned are open source. You can go to our GitHub repository, open a PR, add some new feature and actively take part in the development of this cool protocol. Now the backbone of every decentralized exchange is an AMM, automated market maker. And without one, a decentralized exchange simply would not work. JellySwap itself has developed a clever bot to take care of all of this, and it's called Butler. Using Butler, everyone can provide liquidity to JellySwap pools within a few clicks. And if you've been taking note of DeFi recently, you'll know that liquidity pools, well, that's big business. Butler is our AMM, or in the other words, automated market making software. The idea of Butler is that it is an open source application that you can install on your computer and start providing liquidity to the protocol. It is completely non-custodial, so you own your funds, but at the same time, you are giving some liquidity to JellySwap protocol. You can go to stats.jelly.market and once you start your instance, you will see your address there and of course the liquidity that you are providing. There are a few sections on stats.jelly.market where you can see the liquidity providers. I mean only their addresses because it is uh, semi-anonymous. You can see the volume and all the transactions that have happened on the protocol. You can see the rewards that everyone is earning as liquidity provider. And the rewards are noted once a day and they are paid bi-weekly. Okay, let's get real for a minute. Harmony is one of many projects offering speed, scaling and low cost transactions. But in terms of proximity to ETH 2.0, we're the ones that have actually delivered on that promise with sharding and fast finality. We were the first to do it and with ETH gas fees showing no signs of calming down, there will never be a better moment for us to attract developers to take a look at what we've built. But we have to make it easy. Token bridges, atomic swaps and deep liquidity are all essential. And that's why JellySwap received a grant. And that's why we're excited about seeing the very first Bitcoin to Harmony atomic swap. This is where it starts.